Authorities say a convict who escaped from a Tennessee prison five days ago on a tractor was captured. As CBS News correspondent Dania Borges reports, Curtis Ray Watson is suspected of killing a corrections employee just before his escape. An escaped prisoner suspected of killing a Tennessee Department of Correction employee was caught just hours after a confirmed sighting Sunday morning. It is a good day because Curtis Watson is in custody. In surveillance video, 44-year-old fugitive Curtis Ray Watson is dressed in camouflage and carrying a backpack. He opens a refrigerator on the Henning, Tennessee property of a man who alerted authorities. When he finally backed out of here, closed his door, my wife really recognized him. So that's him. He got that goatee. Within 30 minutes, Hundreds of law enforcement was on scene and in that area. TBI uh, spotted Watson coming out of a soybean field. Watson surrendered uh, without incident. Watson had been on the run since Wednesday when he escaped from the nearby West Tennessee State Penitentiary on a prison tractor while on lawn mowing duty. That morning, an intense manhunt was launched after the body of Deborah Johnson was found by her co-workers in her house on prison grounds. Officials say a cord was wrapped around the 64-year-old's neck and she had been sexually assaulted. Watson was discovered missing hours after he was seen near Johnson's house. Rewards totaling nearly $60,000 were offered for information leading to Watson's arrest. He was uh, relieved to be uh, over with his run. On Thursday, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation secured warrants against Watson for charges including first-degree murder. Donya Backus, CBS News. Watson was serving a 15-year sentence after pleading guilty to aggravated kidnapping of his wife.